In this lesson, we're going to learn about plot styles. And this is something that normally would be dealt with much later on where you actually need to start plotting your drawings. And yes, we are going to only plot things once we finish our drawing. But what I'd like to get done, at least at this point, since we've just finished the lesson about the templates and the layering system, is the CTB file or STB file, which I'll explain shortly, is something that generally is a very good idea to have in place before you start drawing. Because your colors, in our case, we're going to be using CTB, the colors are going to drive the thicknesses of lines. So it's a good idea to know what your CTB file is that things are going to be printed out with at the end, so that when you draw things, they are already the right color. Otherwise, if you draw things blindly in any color you like, without knowing these values, you basically will, will not arrive at a printable version of your work. So even though we already have these values here, I've actually copied them from the CTB file that was created. And I'm going to show you in this lesson where that CTB file is and how you can add it into your program so that you can use it when you eventually print your files. Now, if you have a look at your referenced file folder, you'll see that there is a CTB file called house underscore plot style. This is something that you can simply copy and you can go and put it into the folder, which you can find if you click on file and then plot style manager. So go ahead and click on that. And then you will see here that I've already copied it in. It is house underscore plot style. So you just go and copy and add it into that. Once it's in this folder, then AutoCAD will Will recognize it as a plot style and you will be able to go and within your layout we'll deal with this much later so don't worry too much about the layout now but I'm just showing you that it is already in here you'll be able to find your CTB file and you'll also see that you can go and edit that file by clicking on this icon and you can see what the thickness values are of that line weight that are linked to that color. Now there is some debate in the community as to whether to use CTB or STB. Basically the difference is that CTB is a color dependent plot style, which means that all lines that are magenta will print at one millimeter wide. So that'll be a universal. Then you have STB, which is a named plot style, which I haven't used over my education and my practice, but you can look into that where you rather have any color being any thickness as long as it's defined by that named plot style, which you then set up. So I'm going to follow and carry on with, with the CTB format since that is the one that I've been using in pretty much every office. And it does allow you to very uh, quickly understand what thickness things are going to be if you just keep this little table on the side. So you'll know that your grays are light, your yellows are in the middle, and your blue and magenta are really, really thick lines. So that file can also be created from scratch. All you need to do another way to access that file is to go back into your plot style manager and you can double click on that file so here you will have that plot style table editor so here you can go and uh, start changing these files and for, for example if you want your gray 8 and 9 to print in another color besides black you can actually choose and say well I would like my grays to really print out gray or I would like a red color or let's say you would like to have a red outline in your print but everything else black and white you can choose any color here and you have a list of a couple of hundred you can say that for example I would like to have the color uh, 20 to print out as bright red. So then you can basically do that, save it as a new CTB file. So you can call it house uh, plot style red outline. And then you can use that as a specialized unique CTB file whereby you can have a black and white drawing but have these red outlines around certain things that you want to emphasize. So this is a really nice way that you can come in and really add or at least have a handle over how things are being printed in terms of color and and line thickness. So for the rest of this course, what we'll be working with is the C the house CTB file that I have uh, prepared for you. So this was just a lesson to show you where it is, how to create it, where to find it, and basically to keep referring you back to these thicknesses that we are going to be using when we start drawing all of our objects. So hope that has also enlightened uh, some uh, curiosity about why those thicknesses are linked to those colors. And in the next lesson, we will finally be able to start drawing our house that I'm sure we've all been waiting for. And uh, that's when the uh, more interesting work will actually happen now that we've set the scene and everything has its right place in the entire working package.